My name is Michaela Magas. I'm an advisor on CAF, the Connect Advisory Forum, uh, on creative industries, on the future of the Internet of Things, uh, Internet of Things business models and SMEs. I am now also co-chairing the um, innovation ecosystems of the new European Alliance for Internet of Things Innovation. And I run SMEs, but I'm also uh, um, known for founding a global community um, of innovators around uh, something called the Music Tech Fest. Um, the event is uh, fantastic because it gathers so many wonderful minds from different backgrounds, um, but all of whom share a, sort of a common mission. And uh, we, I have already spoken to so many people who are on the same page. Uh, and this is obviously a wonderful experience. So as we spoke this morning, there was a really nice discussion this morning. There was a lovely panel. And um, there were, again, people who came from various different uh, viewpoints into it. Um, I think it, this was, this was a, a very nice platform to kick off the conference with. Um, and I spoke particularly about the innovation ecosystems that we are building. And we are really, literally, uh, physically building these. This is not just talk. This is not just planning. This is actually being hands-on and really getting your hands dirty and experimenting and seeing what is possible out there and what are the results that one can achieve by galvanizing groups of people, bringing them together and getting them to um, invent new, new types of things. And within that, um, I was talking about particularly uh, the approach of a, a C2B, which is uh, not just consumer to business, but it's actually content creator to business. So it's creative developer to business. Something that is we are seeing happening within our community. Um, we give people tools, uh, sometimes brand new tools that are really groundbreaking and innovative, uh, but that are sufficiently open for them to um, start using their creative imagination to bang heads together and to see what is possible. And then the sort of innovations that they end up with are always surprising. And they, we are always astonished at just the amount of creativity and intelligence that comes out of these. Now, this is, this is a generation of content creators. We are all really contributing content to the, to the internet platforms already. And I don't think quite, uh, that many of us are conscious just how much content we contribute. And everybody uses their creativity to do this. Um, now, we are actively encouraging this, but also now in the new space of the physical internet, the physical interaction, we can also develop um, makers, uh, producers, um, craftspeople, uh, people who are low-tech, high-tech, all sorts of types of people who are creative in this space can contribute um, to the physical internet. Um, and the interesting part for me in this is that this is creating a new kind of market. Uh, it's not just crowdfunding which allows us to invest in the sort of ideas that we believe in, but also uh, we can become crowd makers that are united by a common platform. So for instance, my product can be using data that your product has generated, providing that they speak the same language. And this is a very exciting new space. I campaign a lot about the support to SMEs and startups. And managing these groups of people um, is not the same as managing large organizations or academic institutions. Yet the boxes that we have in terms of the uh, reg rules and regulations that are in, in the Commission in terms of running these projects are the same uh, for SMEs as they are for large organizations. Now, it is very difficult to create this new space uh, with these circumstances and we are looking at different types of guidelines that we can have both in terms of technology guidelines, how we assess something for risk, how we enable technologies to go to early adopters, how do we involve people at early stages in terms of decision making and, um, and uh, rooting the research in a particular direction or the innovation. Um, so there are whole sets of guidelines that we managed to pass through CAF that were really uh, welcomed by the Commission. And um, I am working further on this. I'm looking at every single aspect of how finance is deployed, how the, where are the checkpoints, uh, what are the of, how are the officers trained to, to, to work with these people. So um, this, is, um, uh, this is a very big field, actually. But basically, you have wonderful um, potential for innovation in, in Europe. I mean, this is absolutely undeniable. Everybody agrees on this. 
what we need to do is make sure that the structures that are underlying this are supported. The biggest opportunity for me is new ways of communicating. Um, I think that uh, technology is a fantastic enabler and of course it's a feedback loop. We feed back into technology. Technology gives us new opportunities in turn. Uh, for me, this new space, uh, physical interaction, allows us to express ourselves the way that children do with gesture and signalling. And that's wonderful because that uh, allows us to bridge such, uh, certain cultural barriers. So not just in terms of foreign languages, but also in terms of, I mean, foreign languages also mean jargon. Sometimes when you talk to someone from a different background uh, or a different profession, as brilliant as they are, and you really want to capture what they're trying to say because they're obviously a brilliant mind, but you don't understand half of the language they're using. And sometimes in our environment, where we really get our hands dirty, we just show people how to do things, or a brilliant mind will literally make it happen, and then the other person will easily understand um, how they apply their knowledge, uh, rather than trying to read peer-reviewed papers that are full of terms that they wouldn't normally understand. It's a really fast knowledge transfer. And this is applicable to all sorts of other um, environments and situa situations, including um, understanding how economy or politics work or how regulations work. Um, so I'm interested in these sort of new languages that we are able to develop now and how we can bridge these um, chasms of misunderstandings and difficulties of communication. Um, I'm talking about getting your hands dirty. I'd actually like to do that. Um, um, I, am, uh, I am actually collaborating with uh, some of the people who organise this conference. I think it's a fantastic uh, conference. And I think it's in, ter in terms of debate, you can see just how fired up everybody is. And I'm sure you have been to lots of conferences and you know that mostly um, you find people who are on their phone or uh, they're on their laptop and they're not following. And here, everybody is really engaged. Um, and uh, I can see that these, these are sort of the uh, debates are going to continue way past the conference. They will sort of continue into dinners and evenings. And so that, that's a sign that everybody's really passionate about what they're talking about here, which is great, great news. I think uh, I would really like to experiment.